In this episode of How to Shoot Video for Your Business, we're talking about B-roll, overlay, cutaway, montages, and all that sort of stuff. What does it mean, and how do you use it? Roll the bumper. G'day guys, my name is Bruce Garrett. I'm the owner of Ginger Beard Media. Ginger Beard Media is a video production company based in Perth, Western Australia, and you're tuning into one of our episodes of How to Shoot Video for Your Business. As the title would suggest, we're here to give some free educational resources to business owners about how to better shoot video for their business. We're a YouTube series, it's a Facebook group, we're a podcast, you can find more information on our website about what we talk about, but essentially wherever you're uh, consuming content and however you're consuming content, then we're out there and available for you as free resources. If this is something that's of interest to you, then do all that social media stuff that you need to do, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and follow along because yeah, we really do wanna help you guys out to shoot more video for your business. Enough with that waffle and on with the episode. In this episode of How to Shoot Video for Your Business, we're talking about all this terminology around cutaways, B-roll, overlay, montages, sequences. It's all a bunch of words. What does it mean? Let's clarify and give you guys some help. So the truth is there's a lot of generic terms in these words and there are some specific words in these terms. So when we start talking around things like B-roll, overlay, cutaway, that sort of stuff. We're talking about generic footage which is laid over the top of somebody talking like this video that really re-emphasizes a point. Lots of different creators will use these terms interchangeably, but yeah, we're talking about footage which is placed over the top to communicate your point, and ultimately it's to try and keep your viewer engaged whilst they're watching the video. However, when we start to move into some of these terms, then they become a bit more specific. So when we start talking about cutaway, for me, that really means that we're starting to talk around, you know, having a piece of footage which is specific to the point that we're making. So if we were talking about a product, our cutaway footage would show what we're talking about in that product, be it, you know, it has nice handles or it has, uh, you know, grips to it or something like that. We would use cutaway footage to re-emphasize those points. The next word is montage and a montage is really a series, a collection of shots that show like a highlight of something happening. Typically these are used in like event videos because we're not showing this happened at 12 and this happened at one and this happened at two. We're trying to communicate uh, a feeling around the event. So we're showing, you know, a bit from over here and a bit from over here. We're picking the best parts possible. A sequence is different to a montage. A sequence is a sequence of events shown in their time-specific order. So we're more likely to use these as a step-by-step -step in a how-to, because if we use a montage, we would start with uh, a piece of furniture unassembled, and then it would be like stuff going together, but we wouldn't be able to follow it, and eventually we would see like a finished product, whereas a sequence of video that would cover a piece of furniture going together would show you that part A needs to be connected with part B and C and so on until we end up with a finished product. So that's it for this episode. Is it a short one? But I wanted to tackle terminology because just like pans and tilts and star wipes, people seem to use all these terms interchangeably and some you can and some you can't, but hopefully it's a bit of education so that you know if you are writing down your plans and you start using those terms, you can use them in the correct way. As ever, I hope you've enjoyed this short episode of how to shoot video for your business. If you have enjoyed the episode, do the social stuff, give us a like, subscribe and all those things. And as ever, I'll see you in the next episode. Gingerbeard Media. Get on beard.